Welcome to a co-creator's guide to the whole world, part three. This is the third video of three short videos that introduce an empowering and revolutionary new vision of the cosmos. I'm Jude Curravan, and my worldwide work brings together leading edge science, frontier research into consciousness, and ancient and emerging spiritual wisdom to empower others and raise consciousness. I aim to wake people up. The whole world that the emerging vision of integral reality is describing, as Irvin Laszlo and I share in our new book Cosmos, is being revealed to be exquisitely and beautifully and meaningfully co-created to enable consciousness to explore itself on many levels of awareness. And its profound and empowering insights are emerging at a critical time when an evolutionary leap of collective awareness that's becoming known as the shift is gathering pace. We're now becoming able to access higher aspects of our psyche beyond the level of our ego-based sense of self. Whilst this has been the goal of spiritual initiates throughout the ages, the evolutionary processes underway in the shift are unprecedented and energized by the opening of the eighth chakra of the universal heart for ever more people around the world. Accessing such transpersonal awareness enables us to understand and release old patterns of behaviour that no longer serve us, whether on personal, family or collective levels. As we journey towards 2012, the shift has the potential to take us, as a global family, to a higher level of consciousness and enable resolution or resolution of the many issues and problems that together we face. Through the information embodied within the whole world, evolution unfolds throughout the universe's cosmic cycle, enabling ever greater complexity and thus consciousness to be embodied and experienced. And while the limiting speed of light within space-time ensures we experience our lives as an unfolding series of events and the playing out of our choices and their implications, the reality of the non-local connection that transcends space-time enables the cosmic mind that is the whole world to ultimately explore and evolve its own internal relationships. As the ancient mystics understood, the one is expressed through the diversity of the many. The scientific evidence is rapidly growing that we're not only the individuated microcosms of the cosmic mind of God, but that we really are the divine co-creators of our realities. It's time for us to move beyond the fears, limitations and selfishness of our ego-based selves. It's time for us to listen to the inner guru of our higher selves. It's time for us to guru up. If we're willing to take responsibility for our choices and ready to make those choices from love rather than from fear, the emerging view of the whole world shows that we can really transform our personal and collective realities. As we each show up to hear and enact the guidance of the universal heart, we fulfill our highest purpose in being here and now. For completion of the shift is up to all of us. As the indigenous elders have said, we are the ones we've been waiting for. Whilst our personal journeys of self-discovery have been progressively empowering us to understand that I can do it, we need now to go beyond the me and become the we. The whole world invites each and every one of us to show up and answer the call of service in whatever way and to whatever extent each of us can manage. As Archbishop Tutu of South Africa said, each of us can do something. However small your something may seem to you, remember that if you think you're too small to make a difference, share a room with a mosquito. And for those of you who have a dream that seems too enormous to achieve, remember that no one is given a dream without having everything they need within themselves to accomplish it. The leap in awareness to being conscious co-creators of our personal and collective realities 
and the potential homecoming of our co-creating heaven on Mother Earth can truly be the next step in our evolutionary journey. It is our cosmic destiny.